Hey golfers, Drew Mahold and Thomas Campbell here in the Second Swing Minnetonka Tour Van. Uh, today we're talking about uh, club speed and swing tempo and fitting the right golf shaft for your swing. And so I know this is a question Thomas and the master club fitters here at Second Swing get very frequently it's talking about you know which golf shaft is right for me and you know is it really just about club speed or there, is there more involved and so Thomas briefly before kind of maybe getting into the discussion here and maybe showcasing some, some things as well um, what's the overarching theme here to that answer? I mean generally club speed it helps us categorize what shaft flex a player should be playing but tempo is very important to include in there too for example, say someone's on the bubble with regards to, say the club speed's around 110 miles an hour. We know that's pretty close to an extra stiff golf mm -hmm. shaft. But if they have a very, very smooth tempo, they could probably get away with playing a stiff golf shaft, something that maybe is not as lower on the torque. Okay. If they have a very aggressive, fast tempo and their speed is 110 miles an hour, they're probably gonna want a golf shaft that's gonna be a little more stable and generally speaking, you would go towards the golf shaft that's a little stiffer. And now it's going to be player dependent, so that's the most important thing to kind of keep right. in mind is there are general trends out there that with regards to golf shafts and tempo and club speed, but it's more important to come in and test them yourself to really figure out which one feels the best to you mm -hmm. uh, and also take a look at the numbers that TrackMan provide. Right, and so you know, when golfers do bring in their, their old clubs, irons, woods, uh, wedges, whatever the case may be, and trade them in, and upgrade, they get this fitting. And then of course, at second swing, it's about fitting the club head first and then going into the golf shaft, identifying that. So um, you mentioned tempo quite a bit. Uh, so, and it is player dependent. Not everybody has the same tempo, right? There's, for as many golf swings as there are on the planet, there are that many different tempos. So um, what's the, what kind of do you identify in a fitting um, when you're looking at a player's swing? And what, is there a track man data that you look at, or is it more just you watch how the, the golf shaft interacts during the swing? What are you looking at as a fitter? Yeah, I mean, a lot of it's visual. I mean, even you just watch, watch the tour golfers play on mm -hmm. the PGA Tour, you can see some, some players out there that have very, very smooth tempos. Then you can say Freddie Couples, for example. He's got a nice, long, smooth golf, golf tempo. Compare that to maybe like a, a John Rahm, mm -hmm. who has a little quicker transition, quicker tempo, He's going to need something that's going to be a lot more stable. Or Freddie Couples has got a nice, long, smooth swing. He probably doesn't need to play as heavy and extra stiff golf shaft as John Rahm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I, I kind of want to you know, ask, and we'll, we'll see here, but like the impact of you know, a, a very quick transition and how that can, let's say, with a very light golf shaft, very flexible golf shaft, what a quick tempo does, and then compare that maybe to a very slow tempo and see how things perform. So what do you have in your hand right now? Yeah, so we've got a range. I've got the Alta CB55S golf okay. shaft. We're also going to test the Alta Distanza. That's a very lightweight golf yeah. shaft. Um, it's going to be for someone who's got probably a more smoother tempo yeah. uh, with a little slower swing speed. And then we also have the Ping Tour 75X. That's okay. going to be at the other end of the, right. of the extreme. It's going to fit in someone who's got a faster tempo. And generally speaking, my tempo is fairly quick. I've always had a very, very fast tempo with my golf swing. A lot of my swing thoughts when I'm working on the, on the range is think Hideki Matsuyama. <laughs> when, yeah. I, when I'm on the range, I'm trying to slow my transition to almost feel like there's a pause at the top of my swing because I get very quick. Because I get very, very quick, if I'm playing a golf shaft that's too light, too high in torque, I'm going to leave that face wide open all day and it's going to go to the right. Now that's mm -hmm. not a general trend. Normally you'd say a lighter golf shaft may hook more than slice. As I mentioned, it's player dependent. So because my tempo is very quick, I don't give that golf club ever a chance to catch up and get squared impact. Sure. So what you're saying is for you, as someone with a quick tempo, if you have a very light or very um, flexible golf shaft, your hands essentially are ahead of the club head the entire time and the club head can't catch up because your hands are so quickly moving down towards impact that the club head is behind, lagging behind, opens up, heads out to the right is what you're saying. Player dependent, but that's pretty much what for I you. Do. Yes. For you, yes. yes. And then on the other end of the spectrum is if someone has a slow tempo using a shaft that is too light, flexible, um, they're actually the club head's getting ahead of their hands there, where it flexes and kind of curves forward as you see maybe in slow motion that club head turns left, and you see the ball will tend to, to fly left. So that's the kind of the extreme misses if you're somebody that doesn't fit into uh, a lighter, flexible golf shaft and you happen to be playing one. 
Yeah, and we're going to test that. I'm going to see if I can slow my tempo right down, and I'm going to draw after a couple here with a very, very quick tempo as well. Okay. All right, so what do you have right now? So right now, first I've got the Altus CB Slate 55S okay. golf shaft. I've um, got the Ping, Ping G425 Max 9 degree hat. Okay. So, so let's maybe first start out with uh, where I do a couple really kind of quick tempos with, with this golf shaft. Okay. And this golf shaft is lighter than I would normally play. It's stiff flex, 55 grams, so it's going to be a little lighter. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a little higher torque. So I'm going to generally feel like I'm going to have a hard time turning the thing over. Okay. That's about as quicker tempo as I can get right there. Yeah. But that was really quick. And it felt pretty pretty unnatural for me to feel like I'm like mm -hmm. basically whipping it from the top. Right. Yeah. Yep. And we I mean we also should note about the the spin here, right? I mean yeah. you're, you're spinning it much higher than you typically would with a golf shaft fit for you and you're sacrificing a lot of distance because of that. Yeah. So that one was over 3000 RPMs. It was fairly straight, but uh, the spin rate for sure was mm -hmm. not ideal. So Curious to see now if you're able to, right, this is asking you a lot, but um, to maybe slow that tempo down, see how things change a little bit. And I know, you know, it's, it might be tough for you to match club speed, but just to see like the, the flight and things, how that could change. Yeah, let's, uh, let's think Hideki Matsuyama for, <laughs> yeah. for these swings. Oh, that did not feel very good. <laughs> That's left. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy! <laughs> <clears throat> so, so I mean, this isn't your golf swing, Thomas. Yeah, and you would never do this on the golf course. But uh, kind of a, an indication of um, clubhead maybe getting a little bit too far ahead of uh, <laughs> the hands there. Yeah, and that tells me that this golf shaft for sure is a little light for me when I mm -hmm. when I slow slow it down a little bit there too. I mean that you did not feel comfortable at all. Right. Yeah. Well, and. We, this is that's pretty far off of what you'd fit into and what would be the the, the good uh, golf shaft for you. But we're seeing I mean, we can bring this up here very briefly. We can talk about uh, spin, right? I mean, these spin numbers are a good thousand RPM higher than what you're used to. So, yep. and that's a bunch of um, distance lost. So, interesting there. But so now I'm curious about if we go to like for example, uh, the really light golf shaft. All to, all to the stands of, I think it's 40 something grams. See how even these, this thing can even change more significantly. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see like club speed. A lighter golf shaft generally generates a little bit more club speed, but also kind of see if that spin rate continues to spin right. before we go to the golf shaft that I might fit more into. Mm -hmm. yeah. Felt like a lot of speed. Yeah, it was a lot of speed. Definitely kind of ballooned on you too. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. I did not maximize my, my distance based on that speed because that spin rate was kind of yep. high and ballooned on me. We're yeah. seeing that ball kind of start a little bit right. And then of course <laughs> the spin is shooting that ball high into the air, 170 feet into the air with that one actually. So very interesting there. Um, that's, I. Probably I get, would assume what you would expect, maybe hitting a 40-something gram shaft um, yep. at full blast, <laughs> right? I mean, 115 <laughs> miles an hour. Yeah, that, that club face did not stand a chance to ever kind of catch up. I feel yeah. like, it, in fact, it was just, I don't know, what it was at two and a half degrees open there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. So, I mean, yeah, your face angle's, yeah, two and a half open, um, which is, it's, you know, that, that can be significant um, if we're talking about, you know, getting into... Uh, not perfect conditions out there, but so we slow that tempo down. Okay. Um, we'll see what happens there. Um, Should be easy to do with a lighter golf shaft. I mean, it felt smoother. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> can't control the club head now because right. of this, this golf shaft is so light. <laughs> Uh, that actually felt like a good swing. Yeah, well, I mean, it probably was for what you're used to hitting, you know? You're yeah. probably used to hit. I mean, you're, the golf shaft you play is almost twice as heavy, and it's a completely different profile. So yeah. a, a good swing on that golf shaft is going to result in, in this with a 40-gram Alta Distanza CB for your swing. So 
very interesting. I mean, we, 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 and here's the map if you haven't seen it yet, Thomas. <laughs> but um, there's a, uh, you see, actually, pretty good dispersion up here with the, uh, <laughs> with your uh, quick tempo, which is what you're used to. But then when you slow it down, and you can see the difference quite a bit. So now we can maybe just try it with the uh, the 75 gram shaft here, just see how the differences perform for you. All right. Oh, this feels like a pole now. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, that's going to be different. Uh, I'm, I'm curious about this now because this is more, this is kind of close to, you know, matching up with the, what's in your bag. So, interesting here. Yeah, this is definitely an extreme with regards to weight and also with regards to, to stiffness. This is going to be a much lower torque golf shaft and mm -hmm. you can see, you know, when I yeah. did that with the Alta Distanza, it was, looked like I could break it almost. All right, so we'll start with a couple, kind of with your, your quick tempo, and then we'll move to something slower here. That was hit well. That's a good ball. Oh, boy. That's a good ball. That was different. Yeah. 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 That's something that's uh, fit into your swing, and you can kind of see the differences there. Well, you can not notice that it wasn't the fastest club speed. Because no. it's hard to swing a golf shaft that's heavier as fast. Mm -hmm. But I like to play gentle little draw. Yeah. That felt stable. That spin rate was way less because mm -hmm. I actually found the middle of the club face better. Um, that, was, that was really interesting there. Yeah, so we can just bring up. So there's your uh, kind of, I mean, you said your standard swing is sort of a quick tempo. But uh, 75x with the shaft that's gonna fit more of your game. You can see it carried the farthest for sure. But look at the, the club speed, right? We got the lowest club speed of the day. And what happened was the lowest spin carried it, you know, 20, 30 yards further than the rest. So well, uh, it's, that's on carry distance. You can switch that to total distance. That's where you can see the big difference because it's spinning a thousand right, RPMs less. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's quite a lot further. 322 and first, uh, that's the first one I've actually hit over 300. There you go. That's another one. Now that one went a little bit left, but I think we're noticing so, you know, with a super light golf shaft, with your quick tempo, balls hanging out to the right. Yep. Um, that doesn't seem to be the case when you're ripping it with a much heavier and stiffer golf shaft. You don't have that miss really in play nearly as much. Yeah, I mean, golf shaft stability across the entire golf shaft is very, very important to control that club face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, we're seeing, I mean, you see, I mean now the, the, we went to the extremes here. I mean, we got a 75 gram extra stiff golf shaft. We did the 40 gram, like for, you know, your moderate slow swing speeds. <laughs> um, but I think it shows, you know, the wide range of what happened here, um, where, you know, tempo, it's just as important as speed in deciding which golf shaft is right for you. And of course, our fitters absolutely take that into account um, and you know, their expertise with every fitting here at Second Swing. So we can really see, it's really interesting. Golf shaft is so important to get fit. Not only is it important to get fit for the, the right flex, but also the right weight with a golf shaft as well. And there's differences even in that weight category and torque in the golf shaft. So you want to make sure you find a golf shaft that is the right fit for you. And that's why at second swing, once we figure out what head we like best, that's when we dive deeper and we test different golf shafts out. And mm -hmm. we can see if we take a look at the numbers here, I was not swinging the fastest. Actually, I was swinging the slowest with the Ping Tour 75X golf shaft. But if we take a look at the other numbers here, you can see that spin rate, that launch, that spin, that efficiency, the direction, that was kind of the biggest takeaway mm -hmm. you can kind of see there. I was generating more ball speed and more club speed with those other golf shafts. But end of the day, I want to hit the ball straight. I want to hit the ball on that flight that I like to see, that gentle little draw. And that's what I got out of this golf shaft. And that's <laughs> why it's important to figure out what golf shaft you, you should be playing with your favorite fitter at second swing, either in the stores, come in for a tour van driver fitting, or work with someone online at secondswing.com. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. our experts are always ready to help you out. Thomas, this is great information. Thanks for hitting the shots and explaining everything for us. Not a problem.